Hey, it's Gavin here, and today I've got a leg workout for you. Super short, it's only 10 minutes long, but I want you to push yourself. I've got my trusty dumbbells with me. So if you've got some dumbbells at home, make sure you grab them. Otherwise, something that's got a little bit of weight to it, or it's water bottles, a bag with some books in, something that's gonna challenge you and push you more than body weight would normally. Okay, that's what this workout's all about. Now, before we get started, it's important that you're already warm. So hopefully you've done a bit of a warm up or you've done one of our other workouts before you're coming into this one. We're gonna start with some slow squats and it looks like this, okay? So slow squats, I'm gonna go into a goblet squat for this one, I'm gonna hold it up the top. Feet a little bit wider than the shoulder width apart. Coming down very, very slowly, back to the top, like so. Think you can handle that? If so, come and join me. 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest. Five different exercises, 10 minutes. Let's do this. Here we go, so super slow. Ease back into this one, sit onto the heels, drive up through those heels, come to the top, no rest, straight back down. So no pause at the bottom or the top and try to keep the same tempo as me. So my hips, as I come through to the top, I just moving forward slightly. So they're sitting forward and that tells me that it's ready to go back down once they hit that point. Back, come down in those heels. Next up after this one, we have Romanian deadlifts or the stiff-legged deadlifts. Keep it slow. We're just priming the glutes here, really trying to push through those heels. And down. All right, we have a 10 second rest. So just enough time for me to show you the next exercise. So we're here, we're coming down, weights just next to the shins, back in good shape. And we're coming up, squeeze the butt cheeks as you come to the top, easy down. So knees are bending slightly and I'm going as low as I can handle whilst keeping my back in good shape. Down, bring it up, slide them up. Almost imagine a ladder along your legs and the weights are climbing up and down the ladder. They're keeping tight. And very important that you do not hunch your back like this. Okay, stick your butt out, keep your shoulders upright. If you can't manage that, then you need to go away and practice in front of a mirror, making sure that you've got that position locked in. Because if you don't, you're gonna injure your back and having trained many clients over the years, I know there are people who struggle with that one massively. It's a, a lack of awareness of what their back's doing, so a mirror will help. Next up, static lunges. We're here, down, up, down, up. So right angles in the legs, looking forward. We're here at the bottom, drive up through the heel and the toes. <sighs> Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Easy peasy. All right, so we're here, 50 seconds, and then on to the other side. You may have to adjust your legs as you move. If you're sliding on the mat like I was a second ago. Shake it out. So other way around now. So I went with my right foot forward for the first time. Now I'm going left foot forward. All right, here we go. So right angles, check your positioning. Adjust your feet if you need to. So your back knee should be just under your hips or thereabouts. And make sure you're not walking the tightrope, but you're on the train line. And keep those shoulders back. We've all got a bad habit of slouching, so we'll try and keep those shoulders back, including me. So I do a lot of my work at a desk. So important that we keep those shoulders back, try and have good posture, so we don't grow old looking like this. All right. <sighs> Nearly done. And we have a tasty one coming up next, frog hops. All right, our frog hops. You're only getting off the ground by about this much. But we're here, a little hop. So rapid fire, see if you can handle it. 
Just that little hop off the ground, but continuous. It's gonna burn the thighs. And if you can't do the hop, just come on the toes. So it's this position we're here. So I'm, I'm just getting on the toes there. But if you can, let's give me that little hop. Nothing out of this world. Control the breathing. Oh yes. Come on. Dig deep now. Ooh. I was hoping we were nearly done there. Right, back to the beginning, slow squat. Grab your weight if you've got one. Into goblet position. Here we go. Down slow and back up to the top slowly. Head up. Come on. Remember, back in good shape, especially when you get halfway through. I'm gonna check that technique. Now for me, I'm using my elbows as a guideline. So as soon as my elbows touch my knees, and then I'm good to go, back up. But don't be tempted to lean forward and down with your elbows. So you've always got to keep your head up, shoulders back, stick your butt back. Good work. Right, the Romanian deadlifts, the stig, stig, stiff legged deadlifts. So I'll show you from the side. It's this one. Imagine the ladder down your legs, climb that ladder, up and down. Knees slightly bent. So I'm scraping your hands up. And as you come forward past the knees, get your hip forward. Really power into them. Now for me, this weight is quite light, so it's not too much of an effort, but if it was heavy, I would really have to Throw my hips forward to finish it off at the top. Now with your weights, if you're using weights, you've got to ask yourself at the end of the set, could you have done many more? For me, I'm using a lighter weight for the purpose of this video, but I could probably go on for another 30, 40, 50 reps there. You need to be able to do no more than five or 10, okay? Same with this exercise. If you wanna push yourself, you wanna get quicker results, make sure that towards the end of this exercise, that your legs are burning up because it's those last three to five reps that really make the difference. And if you're not feeling the burn, if it's not challenging you, and then it's gonna take you longer to get the results you want. Shoulders back. It's not the calm before the storm. Switch it up, other side. Get ready. Let's go. Oh, the timer, we don't want that going off now. Here we go, down. Good form. Make sure you're not leaning forward with the knees. Sit into it. Back up the top, pushing through your heel. Legs again, a little wobbly now. And so they should be. Relax. Put the weights down. Put them down nicely, back in good shape. 
it's often the case that people have good form during the exercise. As soon as they put the weights down, that form goes out the window. All right, frog hops. Let's go. This is it to finish it. Come on. Strong legs. See if you can get through without stopping. So I've laid down the gauntlet there. Come on. Oh, yes. You can always tell I'm working that a little bit harder when I start licking my lips. I don't know why that happens. Kind of like biting your tongue, gritting your teeth. Come on. Three, two, one. Done. Awesome. Good work. Whew. I'm gonna relax for a moment there. Deep breaths. Keep moving around if you're out of breath. Walk around in circles. Hands on your head. Open up your lungs. Deep breaths, breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Well done. Whew. Definitely feeling that towards the end there. So, stretch, from roll, go for a walk, throw in some cardio now if you want to. But I hope you enjoyed that one. Hope it challenged your legs and you take on board some of those things I said about the weights and progressing yourself. Okay, so don't continue to use the same weights week in, week out, not really getting better. It might feel better, but you need to get uncomfortable well, com you need to get comfortable feeling uncomfortable, if that makes sense. So when we're doing the lunges, those last few reps feel uncomfortable, but if you carry on using the same weights in a few weeks time, that's gonna feel okay. So you need to be adding in that little bit more or moving that little bit quicker, trying to get some extra reps in, but there will come a point where you need to increase your weights. So it's good to have three different sets, a lightish one, a lightish pair for upper body, medium, which will have a bit of a crossover you might start using for your upper body, but a heavier pair that you can use mainly for your legs. And so if you're at home, those will work quite nicely. And every so on, adding an extra pair on top will help you get your results faster, start making permanent changes and start making this fitness thing that you're doing right now, these workouts, more of a habit, okay? So enough of my rambling. Hope you've enjoyed that one. Let me know in the comments and I will see you next time. All right, bye for now.